What's up? It's your boy Dad Dragon J back out again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Match Duel video. Today we're gonna be showcasing my Fiend deck. I finally got it up and running and done. It may not be my strongest deck, but it is a fun deck that I like to use, and it can compete with the competitive decks. Once it gets rolling, I get the right cards. Um, before we start, thank you for stopping by to and thank you and appreciate for that. And the lighting is a little bit off to you, that's because the lighting is a little bit closer to me, and the reason being is that my whole downstairs is getting redone, which is where I my room is at. And with that being said, my home is going to be redone, turned to a streamer slash content creator room. So I'm going to have more space to do a lot of things. I'm going to get a new green screen. And I'm going to do a lot more with my videos as far as um, lighting and all of that. So I'll look forward to that. And without further ado, thank you for somebody tuning in. Appreciate you. And I will see you when we get the first duel. And we are here with duel one. Let's see what the coin toss looks like. All right, my opponent won the coin toss. Now with this deck, I typically like to go first. And the reason I like to go first with this deck is because if I go first and I get one of my, um, well, really a specific, um, card in my hand, I can set up, ooh, this, wow, ooh, this is not a bad deck, ooh, it's not a bad hand. But anyway, I can set up, um, I can set up some plays with the evil eyes, I can set up some Lady of Malice plays. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's why I typically I like to get the first the first deck. I mean not first um deck first turn. It it usually works out really well for me, so Bro, so it's funny that my opponent is using blue eyes. Cause I didn't say in the video, but I was thinking a while back of cards to combine with my um, Dragon Maze for Dragon deck. And I was racking my head, racking my head, racking my head, and like a thought came across my eyes was, a thought came across my mind, which was a blue, a mix of a blue eyes and a, um, It was a mi it was a mix of a uh, blue eyes and um, blue eyes with some red red eye support. So my opponent may win this one. The reason being is that they went first, they was able to set up that negate. And if I had if I had more of my magic cards in my hand, I would be able to do something. But I got a lot of my monsters in my hand. Which typically isn't a bad thing, but we only got one swim per turn. Uh kinda bad. That's funny. That was funny because I, I literally was like, I'm going to, I was literally thinking about combining it two. And that's funny that my opponent did it. Well, it's funny that I ran into somebody that had that same thought process as me. So I was really like, what can I do? I'm like, that would be perfect. It's because of the way they work. I'm like, it just work out perfectly. That's funny.
One, two, three. Four dragons. I don't know who my opponent can summon with four dragons. Oh, uh, five. Okay, five out of ground. Yeah, so that was match one. Unfortunately, I lost. It is what it is. I'm good doing my opponent's part. Good doing my part. GG's all around. Um, it goes back to what I was saying where this deck is really good going first. It can kind of handle going second depending on if I get the right cards. But the main take or I guess the main um, strength of this deck is going first. Because it allows me to set up Lair of Darkness and some other things. Which then I can start to manipulate my opponent's field to... Um, take away some of their options but that was the one i took it l it happens we keep moving forward it gets stronger hopefully i'll add some more dark cards or fiend cards in the future that maybe i'll use to buff this deck because that's gonna be all my decks but before i ramble any longer thank you if you stay this long and you stay here to join the content make sure you follow the product that pops on the screen subscribe to the dragon nation as well as that bell for notifications i will notify whenever i drop a new video or any updates on my channel that being said i will see you and door two and we are here with door two coin toss goes off and i win it cool we're going first uh, excuse me not a bad hand not a bad hand because what i can do right here is i can do this um, let's see. Can summon Evil Eye. Evil Eye's effect. That. I should summon into that. We are going to send a do 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 do. Can I use that effect again by chance? No, I can't. All right, so we're going to have to fusion um, link it to something. No matter what do we link in, so. Let's let's link into Yeah it's my best option. Alright, so we're gonna link into Gorgon Empress of the Evil Die. See what we can do there. Yeah, that's the best I got. It wasn't that wasn't a strong first hand for me. It wasn't. I really I really needed Lair of Darkness. If I had Lair of Darkness, that would have been a better first turn hand. But that was not good. Meaning mm, I might add another layer of darkness to this deck. Huh. Uh, let me see. 
Oh, I just, I just can't stop that fact. Okay. I just can't stop that, huh? Because te technically, I mean, technically speaking, I got unless it was a, unless it was a mandatory effect, like it unless it was the effect speed went off before my quick effect, which I don't understand that still because mine is a quick effect, so I don't know how to just go off before man, but. guess What is what is my point target to do? How? But it wasn't tributed. It. Hold up. Oh, okay, it was. Can I chain it now? How can I still not chain my quick effect? Bruh. Bruh. How can I still not chain my quick effect, dude? This, this is just funny to me. Like, I tested the deck out in casuals, and it was doing fine. I was chaining stuff. Gotta be kidding me, bro.
Now, now the question is, how many cars does my opponent have in their graveyard? God, use the Lord of Darkness. Oh, wait, I forgot. Herald the Ultimate. Ultimateness. Yeah. And the bull starts. fun going some of those two going to freaking chaos I'm surprised they didn't go right into freaking um Chaos Max. There it goes.
Oh, they nerfed Drytrons. They definitely nerfed Drytrons. Let me tell you about that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was Dota 2. Unfortunately, we took another L, but like I said, this deck is a very, is going first deck. And also, like I said before, this deck is not my strongest deck. Um, It's a fun deck to play, and if I get my right cards, it works really well. But it's not my strongest deck. I might tweak it a little bit off camera. But for the most part, I'm not going to change the recipe because I still like how the deck plays. And I like what it do, and I have fun with it. So, um, as far as, uh, well, first and foremost, if you series long enjoyed the content, thank you for... Tune in all the way through. Appreciate you thinking and make sure that you follow the prompt that pops on the screen and jump there to sure annihilate that like button so we get gems and like sheet rolling. Also, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you like about the video and your opinion on the video because all that's feedback. I can use the girls' kind of providers that way. We come home from a long day where you do it with your friends, family, your loved ones. You have something to watch, relax, laugh, have fun, wind down to, and hopefully learn something, learn something from. Um, as far as announcements, I stream on Twitch Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday's locked into Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Friday and Saturday, I usually tweet out um, tweet out two games that I'm going to stream, the day and the time frame. And the one that's retweeted back to me the most, that will be the one that um, I stream. Or if not, I'll choose one out of two I tweet out. Also, on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, that's a good way to keep in contact with me. And keep up to date on what's happening with my channel and, channel and the platform I support uh, post content on. It's also a good way to, if you have suggestions for YouTube videos or suggestions of games you would like to see me stream, whether there's one that's come out that you think I will enjoy playing or streaming, or you would like to enjoy see me play or streaming, <gasps> or is one that you may have peeped in my library that I just haven't played or streamed, let me know. I will get back to you, and if I have it, I'll retweet, I'll retweet, I'll tweet back to you to let you know the day that I'm streaming and my plans for it. If I don't have it, I'll tweet to you, let you know that it's on the schedule, it's on my list of games I need to get. Um, and also, I love doing this. I enjoy doing this. And when to transition from part time to full time doing this, make sure you put me on all my platforms I post content on, which was which is YouTube with the like, comment, subscribe, Twitch with the follow, TikTok with the follow, and Twitter with the follow. Instagram when I get when I get that up with the follow. And once again, Twitter is a good way to get in contact with me. Besides my YouTube page and um, talking to me on Twitch, it's a good way to interact with me and. Keep the deal what's going on with my channels and platforms until I get my own Discord server, which that is in the making. As far as TikTok, I know I haven't got nothing up yet. Um, working that out just like I work Twitter into my schedule. I'm working that into my schedule. So thank you for your patience and please be patient with that. I promise you, highlights will start to go up. Um, so I'm doing doing a bunch of other stuff. But with that being said, that's all for announcements. And as always, this is your boy that this is your boy that wow. This is your boy that Dragon J. Remember, <laughs> tongue twister. No matter what you do, no matter what you start, no matter what you put your time into, keep that same energy. See y'all next time. I'll lay y'all. Peace.